Hey guys, so as most of you know, I have been obsessed with the Kevin Aquan Gloss Glow Lip Gloss. They're beautiful, they're definitely one of my favorite glosses right now. So I was curious to try the Glass Glow Face Illuminator. So this is what they look like, so if you guys are curious to hear my thoughts and see what these look like on the skin, then just keep watching. Okay. So these are face glosses. It says universal, lightweight, unique formula creates youthful looking, well hydrated skin with a glassy complexion. The multi-purpose glow gel can be used on the face and body, leaving skin appearing clear, radiant, and seemingly transparent. The bridge between highlighting and skincare glass glow face is the perfect addition to any routine. So I'm expecting them to look a lot like this. And they do, okay. This one is the Crystal Clear and it is, has like a blue iridescence to it. Is there any instructions? There's no instructions on here. It just says gives you a glassy complexion, gives you the ingredients on the back. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. It has a pump and a lid. That's what it looks like right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see right here. It feels just like lip gloss. It's got that sticky feel to it. So that is crystal clear. I also have the shade Prism Rose, which is the pinker shade. Again, looks like this. Looks very similar to the glosses, so I might have to compare them next to each other and see just how different they are. There is the Prism Rose. We've got the blue one and the pinky one here. Now they do feel, they feel like a lip gloss. So, glass glow lip, glass glow face. Um, the glass glow lip looks a bit more pink and a bit more marbled. This one looks very consistent. So perhaps more of like the mixing medium to it. Same with this one. This looks like a thicker formula and this one looks like the blue pigment is spread consistently throughout. I am just gonna swipe this one on next to the face gloss and see what it looks like. Okay. So here is the lip gloss and here is the face gloss. This one looks more pink, but that's because my wand is pink from using it. So let me try the other shade and compare the two. So this is the Prism Lip Gloss. It does feel thicker. So this is the, the lip gloss and this is the face gloss. The, yeah, the lip gloss is definitely much thicker and tackier than the face gloss is. So now let's give them a try. We'll try one on one side, one on the other because I am taking my makeup off after this and it doesn't really matter what I look like. So if it completely ruins everything, so what? <laughs> All right, so let's try the crystal clear side first. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand again. And then take the sponge and just tap it onto the high points of my cheek. You can definitely see the blue reflect in it. Okay, so it definitely looks like I have like a really intense setting spray on my face or that I didn't powder. It doesn't look greasy. It looks super dewy. And I don't really see a whole lot of the blue coming through other than right here next to my eye where I have no other face color on. So if you're putting this on top of blush or bronzer or highlight, I don't think you're gonna see the blue as much. I think you'll just see that dewy glow. Um, it's a similar effect to what I get from my spray, from my Sephora face illuminator spray, like the aerosol can. It just kind of puts a stripe of dew on my face, kind of like a face oil on top of my makeup. And that's definitely what I'm getting right now. It's like a sunscreen spray and a face oil spray. That's the effect I'm getting with this color. So now let's try the Prism Rose on this side and see if there's any more color in this. 
before. And after. Again, it just looks like, I could use a bigger mirror, huh? Here we go, bigger mirror. It just honestly looks like, like sunscreen, Vaseline. If you like that really wet look, you would probably really love this. I personally have combination skin, so I already get like oily in this area, so I don't really love the super dewy look. But if it is youthful, it probably will look really good in photography because you don't look dry, you don't look aged more than I already am. So, I mean, it might be nice for something like that, like a photo shoot or just a day where you really want like that dewy, fresh makeup look. But for an everyday like highlighting type of thing, I don't think that I would use this because it is still, it is still sticky. It doesn't really set down. Now, I am curious to see how a highlight would sit on top of this. It is like a Vaseline consistency, so I would expect it to kind of skip around since you're putting a powder on top of something very sticky and slippery. So this is what the so this is what the crystal clear looks like on my cheekbones. I would say not really any color to mention. And then on this side we have the Prism Rose. I don't really think it adds much pink. I think honestly it just adds a bit of gloss to the face. I really can't notice a distinct color between the two. It didn't lift up my makeup, which is nice because a lot of cream products, once you've already finished your makeup, will lift up whatever's underneath. So it didn't do that. I do like that. But now I am curious to see what happens. So I'm gonna grab my my Pixie and Rach Loves palette and see what happens on top. I'm gonna grab one of her shades. I'm gonna use Clutch and really load up the brush and then just kind of dust on the top and see what happens. Ooh, that really grabbed on and kind of settled into all the pores, all the lines. That does not look cute. So maybe straight on it might look all right, but no. It just looks chunky and heavy, and it's not this highlighting palette. I love this highlighting palette. It looks super intense on the monitor, but in person it does not look good, guys. Like, it's just accentuating everything. Let me try the other side in a different shade. I mean, again, it looks amazing on the monitor, but in person, it just looks honestly kind of crazy. It's like I'm trying too hard and I have really caked on the makeup. So I'm going to say don't put highlight on top of this unless you like that really cakey highlight look. It's not for me, personally. Um, all right, so my thoughts on these face glosses. Are they for me? No. Do I prefer the lip glosses? Yes, 100%. These are amazing. These are just like leaving a layer of slightly tinted Vaseline on the face. It's not something that I will find myself reaching for probably ever, just because hair gets stuck into it, fur will get stuck on my makeup. Anything that blows by will get stuck to my face. So it's just not practical for me and I generally pick something practical over something really unique. Um, so I'm gonna say these are a pass for me. It's an interesting concept but just the practicality of using these on the daily basis is just doesn't make sense to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing swatches, try on, and my first impressions of the Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face product. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.